<laughs> All right, I've been excited about this one. Jennifer has outdone herself and I'm definitely gonna have to owe her a spa day after this one. So we are in Bloomington, Indiana at Clear Creek Homes and we are standing outside of the Jade Tree. How cool is this? So this is a modern ranch, like the future of modular homes, I'd say. It is a three bedroom, two bath, approximately 1,680 square foot home. I love it. As far as the price as shown today, we're gonna to be looking at approximately $299,000. Of course, that price can change due to a whole wide variety of reasons and it may or may not be the price that you pay. If you decide to make this home yours, just keep that in mind. I am not a salesperson nor affiliated in any way with any of the homes that I show on the channel. I do this strictly for information, inspiration, and otherwise entertainment purposes only. But with that being said, I am glad you're here. This is a mini split. I know you're gonna see it and you're gonna be like, wait a minute. It's only to heat and cool the model. Once you got it on your location, you would have your actual HVAC system installed. So coming around to the back, I love this house. You have, it's basically two modules stuck together, each with the monolithic roofs systems, which is cool. And then coming around to the side over here, I love the dark themed colors. There's actually a couple of them that we're gonna get into today. And this one, is probably by far my favorite. Uh, this is a Ritzcraft floor plan. Um, so if you don't live in and around the area that Clear Creek Homes services, I'll leave the information uh, for this floor plan down in the description. Look at this though. I love the like natural wood accents up here. And they kind of I know this isn't, they just strung the string lights across all the houses and it looks pretty cool. So coming up onto the porch, you have a nice little overhang over here, some windows, and then getting inside. All right, so when you first enter this home, this is the view that you were greeted with again Y'all can already see it, those dark blue cabinets. I'm liking it. So this is the front door when you do first walk in and then you have these nice light gray vinyl plank floors. Really pretty, great big window right here. We'll go ahead and turn you around, let you get a glimpse of the place. Very nice. I wanna point this out real quick before we get into it. These are mock-ups and you got like your garage over here which has like this little breezeway type area pretty neat if you were to put that next to it just to kind of give you an idea if you were to have a garage pretty nice but great big area for your living room look at all the windows my oh my so the two smaller ones up top they crank out and then the rest of these all kind of raise up really nice looking and then you do have, of course, the pitch of the ceiling coming down with all these recessed lights throughout. And then from the living room, you come into this kitchen. Just lovely countertops, like the backsplash. But the color of the cabinets is my favorite. So nice wood shelves in there, soft clothes. You got some great big drawers right here. Soft clothes also. And then working our way down, you do have your refrigerator right here, your built-in microwave. And then next to that, you got like some pot and pan drawers. And some more cabinets up top. In the middle, you got this nice big island Again, really nice countertops, undermount sink. Like I just like the, it's like mm, crisp. It feels crisp. 
you have a dishwasher right next to your sink, you got an outlet over here, and then on the opposite side, you have a little lip so you can put a couple stools. So that's nice, nice little pennant lights on top also. And then on the cooking side of things, you have more cabinets, you have these open shelves up top. Again, nice countertops and backsplash. You have your stove and range hood. And then working our way back towards the back of the home, you have this great big sliding glass door. This would be like your dining room area. So all of your main living space is in this side of the home. And then we'll go ahead and start up here towards the front of the home and then we'll work our way towards the back. So off of the kitchen, you come through this little walkway, you have several different things going on. All the way up towards the front of the house is your first of the three bedrooms. Great big windows right here. Carpet, obviously that's an option if you like it or don't like it. And then you got some, ooh, some wood shelves in here. I know that's gonna tickle some of y'all's fancies. I think that's pretty much throughout the home if I recall. Coming out of that bedroom, you do have another closet right here. There's actually a couple closets in the hallway, so that's nice. Plenty of storage space. Obviously, there's no shelves in there right now, but I'm sure there would be once you get it finished up. And then into the first bathroom, you got like this floating vanity right here, which is cool, raised sink. Then you have your toilet and your shower and tub combo. And then further down the hall, you have another closet. Again, nice wood shelves in there. It's got the slats. And then you have your utility room, washer dryer hookups right here, more wood shelves. And then over here towards the end, you have some nice wood shelves also. Yeah, you do. You have your electric panel pleasantly hidden behind this little cabinet. And then coming out of there into the second bedroom, this one sits about midway down the home and off to the side. A little bit smaller than the first bedroom. At least it feels like it. It may not actually be smaller. But the one thing I have noticed in here is you even have the recessed lights. So no drop down light fixture, no pesky little bulbs to pull down and dust, which is nice. And then into this closet, another wood shelf. All right, and then passing back through the kitchen. <laughs> I know I'm taking you everywhere, but it's nice. This one's, the master bedroom is completely separated from the other bedroom, so that's cool. But here we are. Very sleek feeling bedroom. Again, plenty of windows in here. Your master closet, not in the bathroom. Love to see that attic access here in your closet. This thing kind of wraps around. You do have a wall right here behind the door, so kind of pushes back a little bit. And then this goes around some. And then into the ensuite we go again. You have your floating vanity raised sinks, love the fixtures. And then you have your vanity lights up above that. To the right of the vanity, you have your water closet. It's got a door in, oh, it's a pocket door. I was looking around the corner for a door. So you got a pocket door right here in the water closet. And then you have 
your shower, which kind of wraps around a little bit. Pretty cool. Tile surround. And then you even have a tiled shower tray. What's going on everyone? I have a super special treat for you today. Yes, this is a modular home and it is, I mean, it is really cool. Now this one is actually already on site, completely finished. It's actually for sale. So I'll be able to leave the listing for you down in the description so you can check that out. But this one actually sits really close to a lake. It's up here in uh, Bloomington, Indiana, near Lake Monroe. So pretty cool, it sits on about an acre of land. So really neat, again, modular construction. Basically what they did here is they built an above ground uh, basement. So you have this concrete foundation and then they stuck four modules on top of that. So really unique, very modern in design. And you'll see once we get inside uh, a little bit more of it, but I mean, just a kind of picture perfect spot. You got this nice little pasture in the back with these old rustic barns. But anyway, coming around to the side. Now, as far as the specs and everything for this home, it is a three bedroom, four bath, 2,749 square foot home and it's listed for $577,000. So there is all of that. Super cool though. I love the colors and just kind of the overall look of it. Like it gives it like these nice boxy lines. Two big air conditioners coming around to the back end. And wait until you see the great room inside. And then we'll be able to get up onto the porch too. This is all just kind of at the lower level so coming around up underneath of that, this is right off of the garage. We'll be able to get into the garage here in a minute, but that's where that door comes from. So you come out here, stick your grill out here on the patio, and you have just these beautiful lush green views. Really nice. And then you do have this stairwell right here that leads up to the balcony up there. But I think we're going to go and check that out once we get inside of the home. I think it'll give it a little bit cooler of a feel. And then just one more good look. We're going to enter in from the garage, but this would be your front door right here that you could enter into your home. So nice deep garage back here. All of these doors, I'll show you in that. It's like a downstairs apartment. And then you do have your door right here that goes out onto that back patio. Back behind us, you have your water heater and your furnace. And yeah, let's uh, go ahead and get into the home. So we're gonna go ahead and, like I said, enter down here. Once you do come in through the garage, you have your front door right there and then your stairs that lead up to the main living space. And you immediately have a closet right here up underneath of the stairwell. And we'll go ahead and work our way back here. This is like the downstairs kind of apartment area. It has a kitchenette, which is the first thing that you kind of walk into. So you got some nice countertops. You have your stove, you have a microwave, you have a dishwasher down here, like everything that you could need. And then you have your cabinets with these nice wood shelves inside of them, black pools. And then your stainless Whirlpool refrigerator. And then coming further down the hall to the left, this door goes back out into the garage. And then to the right, this is a full bath. So you have a single vanity right here, your toilet, and then you have a just standalone shower. We have nice vinyl plank floors running throughout this home. I think the only exception is 
upstairs in the bedrooms. Now this could be a bedroom. So you could say that this is a four bedroom, four bath home, or you could turn it into an office space. But right now the three bedrooms that were, that I mentioned, they were all upstairs. So like I said, this could very well be a fourth bedroom. All right. So from downstairs, we're going to go ahead and start working our way up. So the stairs kind of wrap around right here. You got these nice gray treads with the white risers look nice. And then you have this black metal handrail. And then you enter into the first floor living space. And this is the view that you were greeted with. I'll go ahead and turn you around real quick. Let you see, this is the door right here that we came through. And then you have another set of stairs that leads up into the secondary bedrooms. Now your master is on this floor and we'll get to that in just a minute. But let's go ahead and check out this living room. So two story, just massive. You got that mechanical fan up there. That's pretty cool. And then just gigantic windows, super modern looking. Now, like I said, this, where we're at now are the modules. So there's one here, one up above us, which is open. And then over on that side, you have one and one up above it. So back behind us from this main living area, you do have your kitchen area. So we'll go ahead and start with the island. Beautiful countertops right here. You have your dishwasher, almost like a seafoam green color island. Nice stainless undermount sink with your stainless fixture. And then you have these cute cage pendant lights hanging down over the top of it. Really pretty. Now this is a spec home. Uh, it's not necessarily built by any particular uh, one person. This just happens to be uh, the owner of Clear Creek Homes built this and uh, offered to let us come and tour it. So I thought that was pretty cool. I appreciate him for letting us do that. Hopefully you guys get a little bit out of it. Nice soft closed drawers over here. You do have your stove and your range hood. And then on the opposite side, you have even more counter space over here. And it's like the same countertop, but just a lighter gray color, which I think is really pretty. Get into some of these cabinets. And then you have this nice blue gray slate tile backsplash that goes all the way around the house or the kitchen area. And then you do have on this side of the island, which I didn't point out, a couple spaces for some seats. And then next to the refrigerator, you have a little pantry area. And then some cabinets up above that also. Ooh, these are soft clothes, very nice. And then towards the end of the kitchen, you have your dining room area. Again, great big windows right here. Look at the view, just out into that pasture. That's pretty. All right, and then, let's see, this is locked. We'll go out of the sliding glass door onto this upper balcony. So very nice open. Get you a couple chairs up here, a little table with an umbrella. I mean, just beautiful. It's very quiet here too. <laughs> Y'all are like, no, it's not Tim, you won't shut up. <laughs> All right, well, it seems peaceful, you know what I mean? We will go check out the other half. Now, this side houses the master bedroom. We'll go ahead and start over here first. So you do have carpet in here. 
which is nice. So you have some crank out windows on that side and you have this nice big floor to ceiling window. So a good spot to put your bed right there with the windows up above it. And then into your closet, you have these nice wood shelves in here. You got the slats going through them. And then it has a pocket door right here that kind of separates the space. And then off of that, you have the ensuite with like a floating vanity, nice raised sinks. And then you have your vanity lights up above them right as you enter. Now there's a pocket door in here. I think all of these rooms in the master bedroom have pocket doors. Then you have this nice dark blue linen cabinet. And then you have your water closet, which is separated again by another pocket door. And then actually back behind that, or on the opposite side, you have some shelving over here. So that's cool. And then you have one of these like infinity showers kind of wrap around. That might not be what it's called, but <laughs> I'm gonna go with it. So nice tile surround, beautiful stone shower tray down here. Talk about getting a little foot massage as you're taking a shower. And then coming out of the master bedroom back into the hallway, you do have your half bath, your powder room with your pedestal vanity, your vanity light. Again, this has a pocket door right here also and then your toilet. And then next to that, you do have first floor laundry room, main floor laundry room. <laughs> so washer dryer hookups right here, little counter space, and then some shelves. And you got this great big window, kind of looks out into your side yard. Yo, this thing is huge. All right, and then going up to the top floor, again, really pretty kind of stairwell, and you got these handrails going all the way up to the top. And then you can look out this window to the driveway. And then for any of you with vertigo, here we go. <laughs> this uh, cutout looks down into your living room and kitchen area, and then you can have a closer look at that mechanical fan, which is pretty neat. And then as soon as you get up to the top of the stairs, you do have this kind of bonus lofty area. Make a nice little game room. Put some beanbag chairs up here. And you got another little space over here. You know, if you wanted to turn some of this into an office, the windows all crank out, which is very nice. And then off of all of that, you have the two secondary bedrooms. And we will get into them in just a minute. So you have a linen closet right here off of this loft area. And then from there you come into the first of the two bedrooms up here again with some carpet look at those trees though just like could you imagine waking up and just like like it's very peaceful looking and then into the closet these also have some nice wood shelves in here also back up a little bit now this looks down over the top of your porch on the side and then coming around the corner you come into the second bedroom i mean floor to ceiling almost windows just massive again looking out into the side of the yard in the backyard And again, just a really pretty room. And then into the closet in here also, 
with the wood shelves. And then right outside of this bedroom, you have your third full bathroom. So again, with the floating vanity raised sink, vanity light, toilet, and shower and tub combo. What's going on everyone? Welcome back. Today we're in Friendship, Wisconsin at Terrace Homes and we're getting ready to walk through a cute little lake house. So let me turn you around. I'll tell you all about it. Right, so this is the lake shore it is on the smaller side it's a two bedroom one bath it's approximately 900 square feet and it is super cute uh i love the front porch on it we are at the uh, terrace homes model center they got nine homes here and look how look how cool this model center is even so many different homes super cool floor plans uh i haven't seen anybody else with these floor plans so uh, I'm digging it. I'm loving this front porch again. You do have a nice tin roof up here on the overhang and you have this kind of, I don't know what you would call it, maybe like a gray slate, maybe on the brown side of vinyl siding. But anyway, coming around to the side, you do have a window right here coming out of one of the bathrooms or the bathroom, excuse me. Uh, if you want any more information on this model or Terrace Homes, I'll leave that information for you in the description, as well as over at timothyplivingston.com, where you can search this floor plan, as well as all the floor plans that we've toured across the country, and you can see if they are built in your area. And this one, man, I'm just super excited about the whole day. Like, I went into the first one, then I walked into this one. They're all decorated super nice, and, you know, it, it energizes you a little bit when, uh, when you come to a good model center. Anyway, coming around to the far side, you do have a nice little door right here coming out of the kitchen. Uh, you put yourself a little garage over here if you wanted to, and you got a couple more windows uh, coming out of the living room. So let's go ahead and get back up onto the porch. So up here on the porch, you do have, it's very open. If you wanted to put some railings, you probably could do that too. Uh, definitely fit some rocking chairs up here. It's, uh, it's a porch swing worthy porch, I think, uh, for sure. And you got this, I like this lantern right here, right outside of the door. And we'll go ahead and get inside the home. All right. So when you step in, this is the view that you were greeted with. I'll go ahead and turn you around real quick and then we'll get into the home. And then stick around because I'll make sure to give you pricing information and stuff at the end of the video if you were interested in it. So this is your front door right here. It sits right next to this great big window looking out onto the porch. And then I know it's locked, but this is a coat closet right here. It's gonna be the only closet that is locked. I think they store some of their decorations and man, do they got some decorations. Every one of these homes are decked out. I love it. So first thing that you come into is the living room. We'll get back over here and kind of get a wide angle of it. So plenty of space in here to do a whole bunch of stuff. And then from the living room, you have this little dining table space to kind of separate uh, the living room from the kitchen. And I love the, it almost looks like a giant ironing board, but cooler, you know what I mean? Super cute, very rustic looking. I like it. You do have a window right here next to that. And then from the dining room, we come into the kitchen. Like I said, you have your side door right here. Put yourself a garage out there. And then you have this cute little island. Got plenty of drawers and cabinets. Got some sliders down here on the bottom. And you do have an outlet. Uh, it does have a lip on this side. Put a couple stools over here. And then you come into the main kitchen area. You got an L-shaped counter right here. Plenty of uppers. Some nice wood shelves inside of the cabinets also. Then you've got your stove, your built-in microwave, a little Lazy Susan over, ooh, in the corner. I was thinking it was gonna be one of those pull-out ones, but it's just a push-around one. Then you have your uh, dishwasher, and then the sink looking out towards uh, your backyard. Love it. And then more cabinets over here, as well as the refrigerator. 
So one last pan in here. I mean, this would be superb. Can you imagine looking out those windows right there to a lake or some mountains or something? I think that would look nice. And then right next to that, you've got this open banister. This would be the stairwell down into your basement. A nice little lantern over there. And then back behind us, this home does have a pantry actually. So I was quite surprised with that. So right next to the kitchen, kind of around the corner, got a little pantry door right here. Check that one off the box, or check that box, rather, <laughs> one of the, whatever you say. And then in the corner towards the back of the home, you come into the first of the two bedrooms. Look at this thing, this is super cool. It's like a fan slash light all built in together. I know most of the time you have the fan and then the light's like slightly below it, but that's pretty neat. You have a window back here looking out towards the back of the home. And then you got a nice deep step-in closet in here. I love it. So uh, from this bedroom, you kind of work down a hallway. In the middle, you will find your bathroom. You got your vanity light in here, single vanity, your toilet, and then you got a shower and tub combo in here around the corner. Some built-ins, ooh. And that doesn't quite go up to the ceiling. And then all the way at the front of the home, you come to the second of the two bedrooms. Go ahead and get in here. I had to locate the closet real quick. So you got a nice window looking out onto the front porch. And then here you got the slider door into the closet. So we've seen, they've run the gamut already. This is the second home. So you got slider doors, you got bifold doors, you got uh, normal just swinging doors, all leading into the closets. What's going on guys? Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna to take you on probably one of the coolest homes I've ever been in. It is so whimsical and it's just absolutely incredible. So let's go outside and I'm gonna take you on a tour. All right y'all, so today we are in Campobello, South Carolina at Blue Ridge Log Cabins and check out this just incredibly gorgeous cottage. This is a modular home and it is spectacular. You have this board and batten siding right here and then check that out. That's wood bark siding going up the gable. I've never seen that before. They actually carry that inside too in as part of some of the, the features in the home. And then you have this beautiful stonework. It's gorgeous. Now, as far as the size of this home, it is a one bedroom, one bath. It does have a loft inside and it is 802 square foot. Beautiful, you got this wood burning fireplace right here. Just an absolutely magical little cabin. Now I'm up here with the mobile home diva and we've just been having so much fun. We did a, a channel takeover. So just kind of, I don't know, it's been a fun day. Now check that out. That's gorgeous. That's thumbnail worthy, if I do say so myself. Beautiful back porch. I love how they use the windows here. Just kind of a mishmash look and then back into the rock just peering into your kitchen this is definitely wait until you get inside of this home it's gorgeous now you do have some of the exposed beams coming out of the home absolutely beautiful they have actually five different models over here you can actually see this one too uh, Christy is inside of that one and she's she's in love with it. I think that's her favorite one. You can see it right there. Hi! Hi, Timothy! So, anyway. All right, so let's go ahead and get into this home. Well, I'll show you the porch real quick. We do have some shake shingle siding up here. Beautiful lantern. And then you do have this exposed wood truss right here as well. Really nice. All right, I'm in love with this one. 
This is one of the cutest homes I've ever seen in my life. Absolutely stunning. So let me come over here and turn you around and let you show or let you see the entrance. So this is your entrance when you first come inside of this home. And then to the right, upon entering, you do have your full bath. So you have an undermount sink right here on your vanity. The beautiful vanity lights. What is this? It's a medicine cabinet. Cute hidden medicine cabinet. You never even know that it was there. Gorgeous. You do have your toilet. And then you have your stand-up shower. And you have your shower head right over the top of your bench. And then you have a little footrest over here. And this beautiful tile surround. Gorgeous color. All right, coming out of there, this is your electric panel. It's hidden by this beautiful wood shelving. Further down the hallway, you have your coat closet slash cleaning closet. Oh, just kidding. <laughs> Not that at all. So this is room for a stackable washer and dryer. You have your vent right there, and then you have your water hookups right here. Interesting. I didn't even see that when I first came through it. And then opposite that, you have your main bedroom. And just look how gorgeous this is. You have the beautiful wood in here that you have seen throughout all of the log like cabin tours that we've been doing. Check this back wall out. Actual real bark right here. Really cool. That's a neat accent wall for sure. I love the blues that they used around the the trim and even the crown molding up here as well. And then back behind the door, you do have your closet with the wooden shelf. Now this is underneath of the stairs up to the loft. Wooden shelf, wooden hanging dowel. And then you also have your water main shut off valve down there if anybody saw that and was wondering what it was. And then coming into your main living area, beautiful chandelier, of course, those windows that we saw on the outside, your fireplace with the stone surround, this beautiful wood mantle. It's raining outside, so my shoes are squeaking. Hopefully that doesn't come through too much. But beautiful mantle, and then your stone hearth. Y'all, this place is gorgeous. I wanna, I want it for myself. You have the wood going up the stairs. Let's see if we can get over here so you can check that out. So that is your loft area up top. You do have your sliding glass door right here going out onto your porch. Ooh, I didn't show you that either. You do have a built-in underneath of the stairs. And then we'll go upstairs in just a minute so you can see the loft because it's absolutely gorgeous. And then you have these exposed beams up there too. Really nice. So coming into your kitchen, you have this beautiful little eating nook. Looking out over your windows, gorgeous view. A whole heap of cabinets. You have a cleaning cabinet right here. I can't wait to see their use of space. Your refrigerator with your refrigerator on one side and your freezer on the other. And then as far as the shelves and cabinets go, they don't quite go all the way up to the ceiling over here and then definitely not over there. You have your dishwasher. It's got the matching handle and everything. I'm not going to go through all of them, I promise. But beautiful sink. Look at this sink. It's like a stone-faced sink looking out over your window. Oh my goodness. The countertops are absolutely gorgeous. And then the backsplash. Y'all, I am in heaven. <laughs> 
it's like a it's like a tin really nice gosh you have your lazy susan and then you have your microwave mounted over the top of your oven with again all of it is matching your dishwasher and your refrigerator and then you have another built-in here as well my goodness all right upstairs i have to get some like serious b-roll it's magical this it really is I think even if you didn't buy this for like your own personal use and you were able to invest in like an Airbnb property, gosh, this would be it. So up here they have it set up as a day bed and then a little sitting area. Beautiful. I'm unclear if so. Oh. What? Oh. What's going on guys? So we found a really cool place with some really cool homes and I think you're gonna like it. So let's go ahead and get into it. Check this out. The fanciest, the coolest, the best modular home we've seen so far. This is it. At least this maker, this manufacturer is. This is Cozy Cabins. And this right here is the Frontier, all brand new for 2021. And it is a two bedroom, two bath. 1400 square foot now we are like i said up at cozy cabins and we've toured this home which is huge and gorgeous and we've toured this home which all three will be on the channel so with that being said if y'all enjoy this video please make sure you hit that like button it really helps out the video and without further ado let's get into it oh but before we do Let's look at this porch. <laughs> and then at the end of the video, I'm gonna take you around also and show you the home as we discuss prices. I'll give you both the base price and the tour price as you've seen it today. Not only does this home just look cool, it has some really high-end features. This isn't something that they just kind of slap together. They really put some effort into these homes and you're about to see why. Wow, right? That's all you can say when you first walk into this home. It's just the pine that just beautiful. So let me go ahead and turn you around and let you see the entrance. So this is when you first come through the door and you also have a coat closet with adjustable shelving, which is super nice. You can fit that to whatever you wanted, whatever height that you needed. And then actually, they got some really cool stools in here. I don't know why they're not, they're not put out. But anyway, all right. And then you can see the floors right here. These are actually plank floors. They're not the vinyl that we're used to which is really nice. So at the end of the video, I'm gonna let you know the base price and the actual price of the home that we just toured is. So if you're interested, definitely stay tuned for that. And uh, I think, I think you're gonna be surprised. Definitely one of the higher end homemakers uh, that we've seen so far. And let me know, it, have you heard of Cozy Homes before? Uh, if you have, I wanna know about it. We actually just happened to stumble upon them. The slow close draw drawers. Um, we're, we were coming up here to look at some skylines uh, at a different location. And uh, Jen found these guys. And we're like, oh cool, let's go check them out. So here we are. Jen actually just got done uh, touring that bigger home that you saw, uh, which is really nice, holy cow. It's got a little loft up there too. Um, but this has got the little tray sliders within the, the cabinets, which is really nice and everything is 
that slow close, soft close, uh, whatever you would like to call it. What is that? It's a microwave. Ah. Look at it, it's got the panel here. And then, I'm unclear as, oh. oh. What? Oh. <laughs> and then they went with the gray uh, in here, which is really nice. Got a dishwasher. I think the gray, the gray cabinets goes really nice with the, the countertops. And then here you got that inset sink, which is really nice. Just a beautiful home. And then even in here, again, you have all these tray shelving. So let me know what you think about those. Those are something that's a little bit different. We haven't really seen them before. cabinet and then this thing I'm not really sure what it's for it looks like you can just it's a, a hidey hole it's got a little plug back there and you can like put your coffee pot and stuff in there until you need it you got the gas stove the beautiful stainless range hood So that's the kitchen. Let me know what you think. And then your little dining space. Right next to these very nice sliding glass doors. And your electric heating stove. Oh, gas gas heating stove. Ooh, ooh. Very nice. Log cabins are like, I'm a mountain kind of guy. I'm a mountain man. <laughs> um, and I just like, I love the mountains. I actually spent, little known fact, uh, I lived in Steamboat. When I turned like 21, I moved out to Steamboat Springs, Colorado. And that was kind of like my first experience on my own. And I actually stayed there uh, for about five years. So I really, really love the mountains. So enough about that. Let's go ahead and head on back and check out the rest of this home. All right, so this is your first bathroom. Very big and spacious. And then the closet, just a linen closet in the bathroom which is nice. I like how they really divided up the toilet and sink uh, with this closet. I think that's neat. And these are also adjustable, which is cool. So you can easily fix the height of those, which is nice because I, I stack my towels up, you know what I mean? And like, sometimes it's just, you need more room and I'd prefer not to put them up on another shelf, but I have to, which then limits space for me putting other things, so. And then that is your shower tub combo. Nice little window. All right. Then across the hall, we enter our utility room. I like this. Nothing in between. I can do my laundry over here. I can wash things. I can fold things. not having to go real far in between, traveling around everywhere, trying to get to, to what I want. And one of those inset doors, little Heidi door into this closet. Very nice way that they have hidden their electric panel.
And then again, the little hidey door coming into the to the room. Then you have a whole closet. Very spacious. Now I'm not sure. I would imagine that they would finish this out. I don't know, because other than that, you're just gonna be putting all of your stuff. I guess, is that an under? Oh yeah. That's just the, the moisture barrier under the house. So maybe, you know what this is probably for? You set this on, if you set it on a foundation or something like that, then you have, it's not even, um, what am I trying to say? It's not even a closet. That would be access to your basement under the house. Um, so it's set up for stairs right now. That's why that is the way it is. Uh, I actually saw that in the other home too and I was like, well, that's weird. But that makes sense. All right, so this is your first bedroom. Over here you have access to your attic. Really cool beds. I like these. Definitely gives to that um, mountain feel within the home. And then coming over to your closet. Nice closet. I can get in here all the way. And then more of those adjustable shelves. into this would be the master bedroom with the ensuite let's kind of head over here and then i'll let you we'll pan it around it's a very spacious beautiful room with two closets And the bigger closet. Man. We all know who's getting this one. Me. <laughs> all right, and then into the master ensuite. Oh man, it had me. I thought we were about to do Something special. No tub, dang it. Oh well. I'm not gonna dock too many points. This is a very, Ooh, I like those a lot. The kind of double vanity. Ooh, are these? Open up with some medicine cabinets. That's neat. And then just a shower. But it has a bench on either side. So kind of makes up for it. All right, so again, this is the Frontier by Cozy Homes. This is brand new for 2021. Uh, super exceptional manufacturer. I just want to let you know that uh, they make some beautiful homes. But let's go ahead and uh, let's discuss base price and then tour price. So the base price on this home is $189,000. Uh, and then what you've just seen, how we've toured it, is $218,000. So this manufacturer is a little bit more expensive than some of the other homes that we have been seeing. But I think what they do with the home, you're not gonna find quality like this in most of these other modular and manufacturer homes that we've been looking at. 
What's going on everyone? Welcome back. Today we are in Hampstead, North Carolina at Future Homes and we are standing inside of probably one of my all-time favorite modular homes. Now before we get started, I need you to go down and pull the like button's armpit hairs and when it wakes up, I need you to take a big old handful of dandelions and smack it across the face. All right, this is it right here. Look at the outside of this thing. It is stunning. Now this is the Carolina. It is a three bedroom, two bath, 2139 square foot home. And look at the porch on this thing. Beautiful. Now, going all the way around the home, you do have this kind of tan vinyl siding, which you see down here on the bottom. And then up top, you have this beautiful dark blue board and batten siding. And then even higher up towards the top of the gable, you have some shake shingle siding. Now we're gonna get up onto the porch in just a little bit. I'm gonna take you around the house I hope you're having a great day, enjoying some of this beautiful weather. I hope it's still pretty. But nice brick foundation down here. Uh, this one's got a, looks like a little bit of a crawl space down there. But nice big windows on the side of the home over here. And when I walked into this home, this was, this was it. Now a lot of these are kind of coastal style homes which I absolutely adore. Obviously, I would prefer living in the mountains, but for some reason, uh, I also like coastal homes. Uh, I'm one of the types that I go to the beach and there's only one thing that's happening to me, and <laughs> that's getting sunburned. So I try not to go to the beach if I can avoid it, although I know the kids and Jen, they all love going to the beach. So who am I to deny them? I just have to lather up and hide under an umbrella all day. Now coming around to the other side of the home, you do have another back door over here. Uh, you can have a porch added or a deck or whatever the case may be. And then you have a couple more windows over here uh, coming out of the main living space. Now as future homes go, I am so thankful that they allowed us to come down here and tour some of their homes. They have some amazing homes. Uh, they have two different locations and they serve Eastern North Carolina uh, over here on the coast. So really nice, uh, really nice folks. And then of course their models are, I mean, I'm so happy that Jen was able to find these because they've really turned out to be incredible. Now on the porch, we've got a couple rocking chairs up here. So you do have some space and then you can probably get another couple rocking chairs uh, over on the other side if you wanted to. Got a couple recessed lights up here and then this just beautiful blue front door. I love it. Now when you walk into the front of this home, this is what you were greeted with. So you have a nice open concept down here with your living room, your kitchen, and your dining room. I'll go ahead and turn you around and let you see what the entryway looks like. So this is the door that's gonna come from your front porch. And we'll go ahead and start over here in the living room. So just nice, bright, and airy, just really nice neutral colors. You have these wonderful vinyl plank floors right here. I love like the white tans and grays, which are really nice. And then a whole bunch of windows that just kind of wrap around the living room. So it feels really nice, really cozy, but at the same time, like you walk in here and you can almost smell, you know, the mist of the ocean. Of course, that's probably one of their plugins. <laughs> but uh, back behind the, the living room, you do have this really nice, ship lap and then that kind of hides the stairs going up to the second floor which we'll get to in a little bit the one nice thing about this home uh, especially for all of those that don't want to climb stairs it does have a first floor master bedroom so i really appreciate that and then coming into the dining room area really nice space for a table i love the light fixture up here And then again, surrounded by windows. From there, you easily transition into the kitchen with this really nice island right here. 
It's got four stools and then this beautiful countertop. On this side of the island, you have several drawers, soft clothes, and then the cabinets below it, also soft clothes. So that's nice. Then you have this double compartment stainless undermount sink, nice black fixture, removable spigot head. You have a dishwasher in here also, and then some more cabinets. And then you have these really fun pendant lights with a coffered ceiling up above it. And then on the opposite side, you do have, I, this is probably going to be your pantry, but it's beautiful wood color. And then you have these stainless pools also. And then the counter space going around the rest of the kitchen and in the uppers you have these two windows right here that sit which is pretty neat looking they sit right up above the these two sets of cabinets i like that and then you also have some more room around the rest of the cabinets that you know you can decorate and stuff but a whole lot of counter space beautiful glass tile backsplash back here really like that i almost thought this was a lazy susan but corner cabinet We'll open some of them, see what all they have in store for us. But then you have your stove and your microwave. And then some more cabinets before you get to your refrigerator. So really nice kitchen. And then as we work back, we're going to go ahead and stay downstairs. And then we'll go upstairs last. Uh, upstairs is really cool though too. But right off of the kitchen, you do have like a little cleaning closet. You know, put your brooms, your mops, or you come over here and as your guests come in, they can hang up their coats and stuff. And then venturing further down the hallway to the left, you come to the master bedroom. Really nice size. Great big windows in here. Makes it super bright. And then over here to the right, right after you come in, you have a nice walk-in closet. Could you imagine having this thing close to the beach or something? Or maybe even like a cool little lake house? Especially, I mean, even if the kids are moved out, you know, you still have downstairs, you can still hang out and maneuver. And upstairs, you can have the, you know, all your friends or relatives or grandkids or whatever come over. I think that's that's nice. I would love this home. Double vanity in here in the master bedroom. One over on this side, one on the opposite side. And look at this tub. Oh my goodness. Sits right below this beautiful picture window. It's got the backrest over here too. Real nice. And then back behind us, you have your shower and it has this really nice rainfall shower head up there right over the middle of the shower and then you have your normal shower head right here and then the tile surround kind of a nautical look to it with the little accent tiles and then next to that you have your linen closet I think we Cabinet, I'm always confused on what to call these things. And then you do have some space up above that if you wanted to put something. And then right next to that, you have your water closet with your toilet. It's so weird doing the master bedroom first because it's like, all right, I'm done. But <laughs> psych. Oh, this has a half bath. So two and a half bath, three bedroom, two and a half bath. Whoopsies. So you do have at the end of the hallway, which is nice. You have your toilet right here and then you have a pedestal sink. So that's cool. It's 
you know, you can close off everything to your bedroom and the people downstairs can still utilize the facilities. I thought that was locked for a second. I'm like, why is the closet door locked? But opposite that, you do have another storage closet right here. And then you come into your utility room. Nice deep wash basin over here. Changing table, little storage area. And then you got some more cabinets in here also. And then there is some space up above it. And then you have your back door. And then on the opposite side, you have your washer and dryer hookups. But I mean, look even at the door casings, right? How often do you see that on a modular home? I like it a lot, it looks really good. And then you have crown molding going all the way throughout this home. And then we'll go ahead and work our way upstairs, which is really nice. It's almost like this could be um, like a one, just one of the, a one bedroom home downstairs. And then you have all this unfinished upstairs attic space. But finished it up and it looks really nice. So up above us, you did have access to your attic. And then you have your second full bathroom, single vanity, vanity light, toilet. And then you have a shower and tub combo. And out of there, you do have another linen closet. And then you come into the first bedroom upstairs, which this one sits all the way towards the back of the house, opposite the front door. Really big size room. You do have the angled ceiling right there from the roof. And then you have these double closet doors where the roof pitches down in here also. But nice size. And it looks like you probably have access to some part above the first floor over there. But this space right here, you know, if we put some desks or something, the kids got somewhere to go to do their homework or uh, whatever the case may be, and it just keeps wrapping around. I mean, you could just turn this into like their own little den area. And what we saw in that closet probably looks pretty similar to this. It's just a little bit of extra storage space if you wanted to put some stuff in there. And then into the third bedroom, Again, this one sits right at the front of the house, so this would be over the front porch uh, and the living, well, I guess not, because you have the, the roof right there for the porch. So this sits over the top of the living room and dining room area, and then into its closet. So it's pretty much an identical match. going on everyone today we are at homeway homes in goodfield illinois and we are currently standing inside of the madison now this is a beautiful three bedroom two and a half bath 2173 square foot home and it has absolutely amazing features when you first walk into the home you have this great feeling of grandeur as you enter into your two-story foyer and then you have a beautiful set of stairs going up to the upstairs bedrooms and loft area now homeway homes is a custom turnkey modular home builder and what that means for you is that you bring the plans and they will help you create it from start to finish all the way up until you're ready to move in now they do have several different floor plans already available for you to choose from and you can come out here to their model center where they do have three beautiful models for you to walk 
walk through. Now, as far as the outside of this home, I absolutely love it. I love that they used like a mossy green type of siding. It is LP smart siding. And then you have these beautiful, dark, deep, rich wood accents, both on the beams when you walk up onto your front porch and on the garage. This home does currently have a three car garage, so that is pretty nice. Now, as we walk around the outside of this home, definitely take in all of the character and curb appeal that this home has to offer. And then as you come around the back side of the home, you start getting a glimpse of both your large sliding glass door and then of course all of the windows in the great room, both the lower ones and the upper ones, and it really makes you want to start going inside. So without further ado, let's go ahead and start walking through this home. All right, man, I hope I can do this one some justice. So when you first walk in, you have this grand foyer with the stairs leading to your loft and bedroom areas and then the hallway of course leading into your living room and your great room now there's a lot going on here so we are going to see if we can get it all in and capture it when you first walk in you are greeted with this beautiful entryway with the huge eight foot tall doors. Right off of that, you do have this flex room, which is guarded by these wonderful barn doors. Now the flex room, of course, you can make into whatever you prefer, whether it is an office space, a reading nook, I even saw a brandy room the other day. Coming down the hallway further, you do come to your powder room, which is your half bath. With the beautiful quartz countertops and the undermount sink. Then from there, it opens up into your dining and kitchen area. your kitchen the beautiful painted gray cabinets they don't quite go all the way up to the ceiling so you can always put some decorative things up there and then of course you do have the canned lights as well then underneath of your window you do have this beautiful double sink with the pull out faucet and this really pretty kind of like brown and tan very earthy toned backsplash Right next to that, you do have your dishwasher. And then, oh, a really nice corner pull-out cabinet with the wood shelves. Now with the exception of that one, all of the other cabinets and drawers are soft clothes. So you have your range hood, your cooktop, and then you have your GE refrigerator with the refrigerator on top and the freezer on the bottom. Then in the middle is this beautiful island with all of the drawers and cabinets. And this looks like it is a trash bin. Man. That's pretty cool. I mean, the knob gave it away, but. Then you have your microwave built into your island. It's the pull out microwave. been seeing a lot of those lately. I'm definitely a fan of it. And coming around your island, you do have some pendant lights, a couple spaces for some seating. The perfect breakfast island. All right. Then this 
Helm does have a beautiful walk-in pantry right off of the kitchen. Now, of course, it has a whole bunch of cabinets anyway to store all of your stuff. And I'm actually standing next to one right now. And just to give you an idea, so much space and it has these wonderful sliders too. Now from there you start to transition into your dining room area. Off to your left is the doorway to the basement. It's currently locked right now because it's, this is a show model, but that's where it would be. Beautiful dining area with your great big sliding glass door right behind it. And again, the can lights flow all through here as well. And then right before you do enter into your great room, you have the doorway to your mud room. Now there is a lot going on in here. So first, all the way in the back, you do have your utility room with your washer and dryer, some folding tables and a nice deep wash basin with some more beautiful gray painted cabinets. Coming back into the mud room, you do have some closet space to put all of your cleaning things. Or you could turn it into a coat room back here because this home does have a garage and it is currently set up as a three car garage. Now, since this is a show model, it is not obviously a completed garage as far as size is concerned but this does give you an idea of where it would be in the home now one of the cool things that homeway home does is they install evr systems which are energy recovery ventilators and what they do is essentially since they use the spray foam and these homes are solid tight structures these help recirculate the air throughout the home and they are built into your HVAC system. So that's pretty cool. I don't think I have toured a home yet with an air recycling system. All right, now coming out of there, you are greeted with this grand two-story great room with the floor-to-ceiling fireplace and the ship lap. Beautiful windows, both on the bottom and up top. And then of course that gives way to your loft area upstairs. Beautiful great room. And then as far as the floors, they do have some beautiful floors in here. Now, they do have a design center that you can go and pick out all different types of options that you would want to put in your home. After all, Homeway Homes is a custom home builder. So they will definitely be able to hook you up and create that beautiful home that you've always wanted. Now these stairs are absolutely amazing too. They like this painted pine with the white risers. Really nice. Now once you get to the top of the stairs, this is your loft area. Perfect for either a little study area or the kids' game room. And of course, that looks out over into your great room. Now coming down the hall to the right of the stairs is your two smaller bedrooms and your first full bathroom. With the single vanity, again the gray painted linen closet, and the wood 
shelves inside. And you have your toilet and your shower and tub combo. And in the first of the three bedrooms upstairs, beautiful size rooms with a nice size closet. They got a little tent in here, so I'm not going to move it around to show you the, the closet, but you get the idea. And then across the hall, is your second bedroom. Again, beautiful windows letting in tremendous amounts of light. I'll open this one for you so you can so you can see what's inside. Now, of course, again, like I said, the design center, if you do not like wire shelving, I know some people don't. That is something that you can change out. Now, coming back down to the opposite side of your loft area, to the left of the stairs, you're greeted with your master bedroom with a beautiful shiplap accent wall. They have really done a great job with all these homes here. I think this one so far is definitely my favorite. The Camden was pretty nice as well. They, they were all really fantastic though. But I love two story homes, but the other two we're single story homes. So if you love single story homes, definitely go check them out after this. And then coming into your master bathroom, you have your single vanity. And one of the cool things that I love about this is just these little square pull out drawers. I think they're really cool. They add a lot of character to it. And then on either side of your vanity, you do have these cabinets around your vanity you do have this beautiful walk-in shower with the culture marble surround and your beautiful stainless fixtures opposite that you do have your toilet nook and your walk-in master closet. All right, I hope you guys really enjoyed this tour as always. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. This home is incredible and definitely, like I said, one of my favorite ones here. Homeway Homes does offer their turnkey home building service up to a two hour radius here from Goodfield. So if you're interested in working with them, I will leave the information down in the description below. As far as price goes, you are gonna have to also reach out to them for that as well, as prices are always changing. So they wanna give you the best price that they can. I really did appreciate hanging out with you guys and I'm so glad that you took time out of your day to come and tour this home with me. As always, my name's Timothy and I'll see you in the next one. Today we're at Stratford Homes in Stratford, Wisconsin, and we are standing inside of an absolutely amazing lake house modular home. So let me get you outside and I will tell you all about it. If you want style and you want grace, well, this is the home for you. You've come to the right place. <laughs> this is the Paxton 2. It is by Stratford Homes. It is a two bedroom, two bath, 1,426 square foot modular home that is meant for whatever you want it to be meant for. It's amazing, it is beautiful. I love the stone right here on the front of this home with the porch. And actually, I can't really tell, is this the front of the home? 
or maybe it's this beautiful front porch over here that would look out towards some mountains or a lake view. I'm not real sure. Now it does have beautiful blue smart siding going all the way around it. And then you do have some nice shake siding up here in the gable as well as this beautiful gable accent. I love this home. I also love that home right there, uh, which I just toured. I also love this home, which I just toured. And well, I love that home too. So anyway, they do have several models for you to choose from and they do build uh, custom modular homes. So check them out. They build in a variety of states and I'll leave again that information for you in the description as well as over at timothyplivingston.com. You do have some nice windows coming out of some of the bedrooms here on the side of the house. And then coming around, actually, I don't know what, maybe that's the back of the house. This is the side of the house. So more windows, you do have this door right here, which could lead out into your garage, which you could put right here. And then you have windows looking out into the kitchen and wait until you see this porch. We're gonna have to get up there once we get inside, but it is spectacular. You got two doors coming over here out of the living room, just kind of helps the flow of everything if you got a lot of family members hanging out and we'll go ahead and get up on the front porch which has plenty of room for several rocking chairs over here i love the wood accents looks very nice nice siding all right let's get inside you're gonna like it all right so when you first walk in this is the beautiful view that you were greeted with and I'll go ahead and turn you around, even though I know we don't want to lose it. We'll get back to it. So this is the entry door, uh, one of them, uh, that you'll come through. And then right next to that, you do have this cute little bench area. I actually love this uh, very, very much. But if you wanted, you could close this up and put a door right here, and then you would have a coat closet. This is just one alternative thing that you could do. I happen to actually like this one a lot. So from the front door, you do open up into the beautiful great room, which is open concept. It would have wonderful views, hopefully, towards uh, something amazing, <laughs> whatever you put it on. And then you have all these beams uh, going all the way across the ceiling. You do have this beautiful living room right here with the nice crank out windows on either side. And you have your gas fireplace right here in the middle with a nice place to mount your TV. And then that section over there, I'll actually point that out in a little bit. Uh, that would be your stairwell down to your basement, which is pretty neat. That sits right behind kind of where your coat closet would be. But from there, you come into your kitchen and the light fixtures in this house are some of the neatest I've ever seen. So this is kind of like a pendant light on a pulley looks pretty cool and that sits right over the top of your beautiful island you got nice butcher block countertops right here gray cabinets everything soft clothes you got the nice dovetail over here on the end and i let's see yes there are some sliders up underneath up here as well again all soft clothes and then coming around to the far side you do have a lip so you can put a couple uh, seats there if you wanted to and then you have this nice l-shaped countertop with a beautiful concrete sink looking out of this amazing window you do have the nice floating shelves in here as well as a dishwasher gas st uh, stove as well as a built-in microwave and you got some nice white cabinets in here also in your tile backsplash kind of goes good with the it's like a mossy green in there with some nice dark green and then it goes really well with it like the nice soft blue uh, walls i think that looks really good and then you've got space for your refrigerator and then up above all that put some decorations up there i mean you're at the you're on the lake or i want to say the beach but anyway so behind the kitchen you do have your dining room beautiful light fixtures here also i love this bench that runs all the way down got some nice pillows on there and then of course your dining room table and then your windows looking out onto this beautiful big front porch again you got these nice wood accents going all the way around just a massive space 
plenty of tables could sit out here, some nice rocking chairs, just something to enjoy the view. And then coming back inside, the smell in here just, it goes over you and feels, just makes the home feel amazing and clean and beautiful. All right, so behind this partition wall would be the stairway down to your basement. And it does have the nice light fixture over the top of that. And then behind us, you have plenty of extra storage space. This could be your pantry if you wanted it to, to be. <laughs> uh, that got to be a little bit of a tongue twister. And then right off of that, you do have this barn door that separates your laundry room uh, from the rest of the home. You do have washer and dryer hookups over here with some nice cabinets up above that. And then you have these sliding doors, which on this side, you have like a coat closet type thing, which is what you could have on both sides. And on this side, they showcase a pantry style door. So you can have that on both sides if you wanted to, it's, it's up to you really. Uh, and then this is the door that would go out into your garage. And you have another big old bench here. And look at these hooks. How cute is that? All right, then coming out of there and working our way back down the hallway, to the left, we come to our first full bathroom. You got the single vanity in here with your vanity lights, your toilet, and then you do have a shower and tub combo. And then I did want to point this out too. You do have uh, a skylight right here, which kind of, you can turn the lights off in here. Boom, and you still have some nice, beautiful light. I think it's called a tube light. Could be wrong. And then at the back of the home, you come to the first bedroom. Great big bedrooms too. Plenty of windows in here, all crank out. Nice sliding doors into the closet. And then into the master bedroom. I love the color of these walls, really nice looking. So plenty of space in here. You got the trunk nightstand over here. That's pretty neat. Anyway, <laughs> I just wanted to point that out. And then you do have a great big walk-in closet in here also. Plenty of places to uh, hang up your clothes. This, <laughs> so the last time I walked into it, it was a little chilly. So I took my hoodie off and folded it up, put it in there nicely. And I just remembered that I left it there. So, all right, into the ensuite. Wait, I love this. So you have a single vanity right here. Love the open faucet, looks really nice. Look at the, the light fixtures. They're like spigots with lights coming out of them, which is pretty neat. And then you have this nice bench or chair coming out of the wall. I don't know, it's, it's cool looking. And then you do have your shower, big old shower head, bench on either side. And then into the linen closet. So what are your thoughts on this one? Let me know down in the comments. I absolutely, okay, I love this one and I love the log cabin chalet over there. Those are two of my favorite, they were all fantastically beautiful. But anyway, if you want any more information on this model or any of the models that we've toured uh, here at Stratford Homes, you can find that information in the description as well as over at timothyplivingston.com where you can search this floor plan as well as all the floor plans that we've toured across the country and see if they're built in your area. As far as the price goes, this home can range from $250,000 to $300,000 depending on the different fixtures and finishes that you went with. Just keep that in mind, that price is subject to change and may or may not be the price that you pay if you decide to make this home yours. With all that being said, I hope you have a fantastic day. My name's Timothy and I'll see your beautiful face in the next one. Welcome to the Concord. Today we are in Sanford, North Carolina at Homes by Vanderbilt. It's a little noisy outside. Bear with me. We're going to go check it out and then we'll come back inside and I promise it'll all be worth it. Here we go.
right, y'all, this home is a three bedroom, two bath, 2,632 square foot beauty. And as you can see, it's got a, an amazing little front porch. I think you could spend so many days out there just soaking up some sun. And this home is just gigantic. We are right out here by the highway, so bear with me as we get around here. You got a little back door right here coming off of your utility room. And then coming around to the back side of the house. Try not to step on any snakes. <laughs> Y'all, I am terrified of snakes, just so you know. Got a little back door right here. And all of these windows. This is probably my favorite thing when I walked through the house into the living area. Just all those windows letting in so much light. And then the windows in your master bedroom. I got so excited on the last one that I just walked through. I didn't even go upstairs. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go back over and refilm it. It's ridiculous. But anyway, hey, thank you for coming back to the channel. I don't ever want y'all to think that I am ungrateful because I am so grateful that y'all take the time out of your day to come and tour these homes with me. It means the world to me, it means the world to Jen. And shoot, most of you, you've been around so long, you've turned into family. I pretty much expect seeing you every time I, I upload a video and I look forward to talking to you. So anyway, thank you guys. I really appreciate it. And then coming up onto this porch, This porch is something else. I love how it kind of wraps around. You've got the window right there going into your kitchen. It's special, I tell you. All right, are y'all ready? I'm ready. Every one of these homes I walk into, it's just... And y'all told me. Y'all have been requesting me to come down here, so I am glad I did it. I've been looking forward to this for so long. Now, when you first come into the home, you have this little foyer area. You got your little built-ins over here. And then you turn it around. You got your dining room and into your main living area. And those windows that I was talking about, it just really opens it up. And I love that this one's sitting right next to like some trees and stuff because it gives you that feeling of what it would actually be like if you put it on your own land. And man, that's what I would do. I'd want it backed up to some trees or overlooking a pond. Something like that. Anyway, as you can see, you got crown molding throughout all of this area. And I'm pretty sure it goes throughout the home. Most of it in the last home it did. I mean even into the pantry. So we'll spin you around again real quick. Let you get a, an angle from your dining room. Yeah. And then you got these nice pillars coming into your dining room, which are very pretty. And then again, you have a back door with some more almost floor to ceiling windows. Those things are huge. Then your dining room area, well, more like your breakfast area because you have an actual formal dining area. So that's nice. That's probably the first home I've been in that has two separate dining areas. So pretty neat, but we're gonna skip, not skip, we'll be back to the kitchen in just a second, but I just kind of want to flow through the house. This is coming through into your utility room. And this is another thing that I like that I have not seen before. There are gonna be a lot of things that I love here that are first. You do have your half bath over here in the utility room. So you don't have to worry about, it's just easy access for your guests to come right over there through the utility room. 
or into the back door. They don't have to go into any of your personal living space. I like that personally. And then into your actual laundry area, a great big wash basin with some space to fold some clothes. And then you have your washer dryer hookups. Yeah. And now we can go right on back into the kitchen. Really pretty, you got your can lights and then you got some pennant lights coming down over the top of your island. And then you have your sink. Little undermount sink with a little removable faucet. And then your window is looking out over your porch. And continuing down, you have your dishwasher. Ooh, I love these handles. Very industrial looking. And then you got some space up above your cabinets as well. Your stove with a range hood and then the backsplash, huge white tile back behind your stove. It actually goes all the way around. And then you got your little pantry area. Top and bottom. And then we don't want to forget this side of the island you have, I'm learning, you got your little vegetable washing sink. <laughs> then you have your microwave built into the side of the island. And then over here next to the refrigerator, you got another little counter space. You got some more cabinets up above the refrigerator. Looks like some more pantry area. And then your refrigerator. So you got the double doors up top and then you got your freezer down on the bottom. Boop. And then into your formal dining room. Got the bay window cut out thing. I don't think it's a true bay window, but. Still pretty. And then that is the main living areas. Now, don't let me forget to go up those stairs because I did in the last one. <laughs> and I'm going to have to find some time to go back and go up there and do it. So huge hall closet right under the stairs. And then coming down the hallway here, you have to your left, you have two bedrooms right here. And then this is the their shared bathroom and then to your right you have a whole master suite so just to kind of give you an idea as far as where we are we'll go ahead and come into the second bathroom double vanity with the vanity lights that match the pendant lights in the uh, kitchen your shower and tub combo your toilet, and then you have a linen closet, top and bottom, and it's got a little room up top. Then crossing the hall into the first bedroom, which is again huge, windows are huge.
And then you got the double doors for your closet. Yeah. We were at uh, Carolina Country Homes. And this gimbal, man. Today it's it's fine. I don't know what was it. it was just it was throwing a temper tantrum or something. <laughs> Every time I'd go to move or show something, it was just having a conniption fit. And it was really driving me crazy. I was really concerned about how the footage was gonna come out because they had some really interesting homes there that um, I don't think a lot of folks have shown them. So it was nice to, to have that. But anyway, it was just glitching out and I was like, no. I think it worked out though. All right, this master suite is ridiculous. So it has its own little hallway, a gigantic walk-in closet, and you have access to the back of that other tub right here. And then it's separate from your ensuite, bathroom area. So you have some linen closets, double vanity, all the drawers. And then coming into your shower, you got a bench, the removable shower head, the rainfall shower head, and then a window, and then the tile surround as well. Man, those rainfall shower heads, that, that's all the rage nowadays, that's for sure. Your toilet, and then this cute little shelf, kind of matches the, um, the pools on the cabinets in the, in the kitchen, which is nice, pretty nifty. And then into your actual master bedroom, just ridiculous, <laughs> I mean, Oh my goodness. Again, with the just big windows. I love this home. And this is only the second one for the day. So I'm sorry, but for the next month, y'all are gonna hear me say, I love this home, I love this home. And I'm gonna be talking about every single home. All right, now let's go ahead and go upstairs. Now the upstairs is gonna be unfinished. I'm fairly certain. Ooh, it'll lighten up. Yeah. But it just goes forever. So this is the front of the house. Give you an idea so it goes back this way you got some over here we'll check that out in just a second but you talk about just a big old game room man cave lady cave shoot everybody can have a cave up here and then Oh, man, oh man. Hey, thank you for watching again. You know what to do. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure you hit the like button. If you want some merch to help support the channel, I greatly appreciate it. You can pick yourself up a hat or a t-shirt. Link is in the description. If you're not a member already, I don't know what you're waiting on at this point. You need to get over to that members area so you can have access to all the other cool stuff that I'm doing while I'm doing this. It's fun. It's awesome. Do it. Link in the description. Now, for the base price of this home, you are going to be looking at about $279,000. And then for the as toured price, what you've seen as far as upgrades and stuff, you're going to be looking at about $381,000. Now keep in mind, all these prices are subject to change and that price may be different from the price that you pay when you decide to come and purchase a home. Keep that in mind, just use this as a starting point and then uh, go from there. I'll definitely leave the link for 
Homes by Vanderbilt in the description below. And then also the upgrade sheet to see what we've toured, what was upgraded in this home. All that will be in the members area. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. My name's Timothy. Bye. What's going on everyone? Welcome back. Today we are in Hubert, North Carolina, standing inside of an absolutely beautiful kitchen here at Future Home. So let me get you outside and I'll tell you all about it. This is the Madison. It is a three bedroom, two bath, 2,040 square foot ranch style home. Stunning. Uh, definitely, I think you guys are really gonna like this layout. You have this really nice brick foundation. Uh, you have a little crawl space up underneath of it. Nice, dark, I don't even, almost like a charcoal green or maybe a deep forest green as far as the siding. And then up top you have this nice kind of gray beige um, board and batten siding. I guess that's the color. Maybe like a khaki color. And then, But you do have really nice uh, white frame windows right here too, which really uh, definitely stand out against the nice dark siding. And then you do have a big porch area up here as well. Now, future homes, they do uh, customize modular homes, so you name it, they can do it. They have a whole bunch of different floor plans, um, and then you can get in there and shift some walls around and stuff if you wanted to. As far as porches, they can also um, attach porches for you on site. Some of these uh, porches do come with the home, but if you wanted some extra ones, you know what I mean, uh, they could definitely do that for you as well. And then coming around to the side of this home, you do have side door right here maybe lead into a future garage as if that was something that you were into and then as we come around to the back of this home you have a whole bunch of windows back here and then you have a nice sliding glass door which actually comes out of your living room in this home and then coming around to the other side you do have one more window but i think that that brick looks really good. Of course, you can, you know, they have like cement block look, like a gray foundation, uh, all different types of things. I think the brick looks really good though. And coming up onto the porch, I didn't even notice this. You do have the board and batten right here around the entrance. And then the porch kind of wraps around as well. So again, another nice little hangout spot for those beautiful summer days and then you have some lamps on either side and then as you enter the home this is what you agreed with you do have an actual foyer right here which is nice i'll go ahead and turn you around and let you do that so this is your front door Beautiful crown molding going throughout this home. And then next to that, like as soon as you come in, you have a coat closet right here. And into your living room. Look, no kitchen in sight. There is one, don't you worry. But this is one of those nice, it's an open floor concept but something a little different that we haven't seen. So beautiful coffered ceilings here in the living room. And then again, you have that nice sliding glass door with huge windows. They're not quite floor to ceiling, but they do go all the way down to the floor, which is spectacular. And then you have this great big gas fireplace right here. And then an enormous amount of space for your TV. So I'll get you into this back corner over here and now you can catch a glimpse of your kitchen. So I'm interested to know uh, what you think about this plan as always. This one probably more so than most. Actually I love this one it looks really good. So next to the living room you do have your dining room space Again, to our left right here, we do have some nice windows. And then again, if you wanted to put 
some like a nice hutch or something back here to kind of showcase some of your finer eating ware. You can definitely do that. And in this kitchen, beautiful. I don't know why I'm showing you this part, but you know, I like the cutout. I think that looks good. Now you have this great big island and you have seating on either side of it. So perfect kind of breakfast uh, eating space. You have the nice pendant lights over the top of it. Beautiful color. And they went with kind of a, a darker brown here. It almost looked like a little bit different color than the main ones, but I think they're all the same color. And then coming around to the side of the island, really wide island, you know what I mean? And then on this side, again, more space for some seats. A couple drawers on either side, and then also some cabinets. And then up underneath of the island, you have these nice legs right there. I think they look pretty cool. And then getting into the main surfaces, you have your refrigerator right here, and then plenty of cabinets on this side. Again, not quite going all the way up to the ceiling. More beautiful countertops, glass tile backsplash right here, almost like a sea foam green color. And then you have your dishwasher, gorgeous sink. I love this kind of apron on the front of this one. Most of them are flat, but this one kind of comes straight down and then angles in a little bit. I think that's pretty sharp looking. And then two compartments looking out of these two great big windows right here. And then continuing around, I mean, this is a huge kitchen. Plenty of counter space in here, even more cabinets. You have your stove and your microwave. Nice wood adjustable shelves. And then you have these really big cabinets right here one on the bottom and then one on top so really nice kitchen uh, when i walked in here i was kind of tickled by it now i haven't shown off the floors either you have some really pretty vinyl plank floors in here also now again like i said uh, this home can be customized so if you want to swap out the floors or the countertops or the cabinets I mean, even the walls, the interior walls, uh, definitely something you can do. Coming into the first full bathroom, single vanity right there, your toilet, and then you have a shower and tub combo. Kind of unique looking tile down here also. And then we're gonna continue working down the hallway. Next to the bathroom, you have a linen closet right here. And then back behind us, you have the two smaller bedrooms. Go ahead and go into this one first. Here you do transition into carpet. But nice big windows in here, great big room. And then again, you have a step-in closet in here. This one just kind of keeps on going. And then into the second bedroom, Again, still at the front of the house. And this one's empty to give you a little bit of an idea. It's pretty much the same size as the one that we were just in, I believe. And then the closet in here also. And then you have your side door that we saw on the outside. Up above us, you do have access to the attic. I like it when they put it kind of out of the way. I've seen it in closets and all types of stuff. So, and then you have this nice built-in right here. You got an outlet in each one of these cubby holes. So that's cool. That's nice. Cause then I can, instead of leaving like my camera gear, we don't have anything like that. So I have to either charge it on the table or the counters or something. It'd be nice to, Jen would probably appreciate it if it was out of the way. And then coming into your utility room, Look at all the counter space in here. Maybe even 
I mean, you could turn this into kind of a little back office if you wanted to, but plenty of cabinets. And then back behind us, you have your wash basin and then washer and dryer hookups. Pretty cool. And then back across the house on the other side of the living room, you come to the master suite. Again, more big, beautiful windows in here. I love the decor. Future Homes is another one of those places that does a really nice job decorating the homes. Which is always nice. You know, I, I do tour homes and I'm sure y'all have seen a lot of them that don't have any decorations, but it just makes it more fun when they do have the decorations. So coming into the ensuite, big beautiful soaking tub right here. And then on the opposite side, you have double vanities with your vanity lights, more linen cabinets. And then you have your toilet right here to your right. And then a great big walk-in shower. You got a rainfall shower head right there. Nice bench, beautiful tile surround, kind of like a almost mossy green color in there. I think that's cool. And then next to that, you do have your walk-in closet. Immediately, you can see the bench. And then this thing just kind of wraps all the way around. So let me know what you think about this home down in the comments. If you want any more information on this model or future homes, I'll leave that information for you down in the description. If you want to check out another beautiful modular home tour, go ahead and click on this video right here. And as always, guys, have a fantastic day. My name is Timothy, and I'll see your beautiful face in the next one.